Ashley. Hi, I'm Ridley. Hi, I'm John. Hi, I'm Michael, and this is Lab 9, Geometrical Optics and Schlieren Imaging. So for the Foucault testing portion of the lab, uh, we had a lab set up with a laser, a spatial filter, and a lens. And the important part of this lab setup is this knife edge right here. Um, and so this straight knife edge allows us to do something called the Foucault test. And so using the Foucault test, we can move through different parts of the focus, the longitudinal focus in a spherically aberrated system, or any system that has an aberration in it. And using this test, we can determine what kind of aberration is present in the system uh, based on the pattern that appears on this viewing screen. A key concept in this lab was the star test. So in the setup, at the end, we'll be able to see the aberrations in a lens. This is important to learn about because you can use it to test telescopes and see aberrations in your telescope system. For this part of the lab, we looked at Schlierian imaging. So we have a a razor blade located at the focal point of a concave mirror and this allows us to take a look at any uh, small changes in um, refractive index. Uh, for example you can see um, this is a soldering iron so you can see the heat coming from it, the warm air rising from it. Um, you can clearly see that from Schlierian imaging. This works because the razor blade is blocking half of the the rays from uh, the mirror so any small changes causes the rays to bend slightly differently, either to become blocked or unblocked by the razor blade, um, causing, um, causing it to appear brighter or darker, thus allowing you to see any like, heat changes, for example, through Schlieren imaging. This relates to prior knowledge because we previously learned that uh, refractive index changes cause light, causes light to uh, refract differently, which is what uh, makes Schlieren imaging work. Our favorite part of the lab was the Schlieren imaging portion. So our least favorite part of this lab was uh, pretty much both the Foucault and the star testing because they were really uh, sensitive to misalignment. I actually think that the uh, Foucault test was a little bit worse and it was harder to see the effects if the system wasn't aligned properly both longitudinally and transverse. Um, so that was kind of annoying.